Hello, hello. Welcome. I'm Bailey from Glowforge. I'm Nick from Glowforge. And welcome to our Tuesday live stream. Yeah. Um, today, <laughs> today we're doing something fun. Actually, <laughs> right before we just went live, we were talking about the Puppy Bowl. Like, did we watch the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah. No, obviously not, because uh, Nick and I are not sports people. No, nope. sports bowl uh, is But we thing. watched the, the halftime show. And then he, I, I missed the Puppy Bowl, but apparently there is a really good Puppy Bowl this year, so I'm going to have to check this out. But yeah. topical, because we're going to be printing a photo puzzle oh, today that segue. is a puppy. Um, hold on, let me pause. Did we just lo lose the stream? Are we still okay? Let me make sure. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It looks like we're still okay on YouTube right I think now. We're a bit delayed. But Let's we are see. a bit Let's delayed, see. so I'm gonna see if this keeps going. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I'm still watching. Okay. Well, hopefully, let me know if, if we stop, if we freeze. So this oh, you're just is holding up the puppy a. Now. Uh, photo that I got printed on acrylic of our coworker Ellen's dog, who is like a dog model. <laughs> um, Ellen's like a really amazing photographer and like fashion blogger and everything. And so she, her dog, of course, like the same, yep. beautiful. Mm -hmm. More well, followers than me. Yeah, yep. exactly. More followers. Exactly. I mean, most so this is there, Ego. So. Um, and so this is Ego and some of the snow we had in um, Seattle. And then we were talking about whether we needed to, we we're going to print a puzzle onto this. So make oh, yeah. this uh -huh. into a puzzle. So I printed two of Ego and we put this masking on it because we thought maybe the laser might leave marks on the acrylic, but we did a test and it didn't. So to be took fine. the masking off. Look at that face. Look Are you kidding me? So we're going to use um, a tool in the Glowforge Premium uh, Suite to to make a puzzle but if you don't have that you can there are probably puzzle maker programs online in fact they're absolutely okay <laughs> community.glowforge.com okay. uh, if you've joined us before you'll probably know how much we harp on about how great the community oh, yeah. is it really is great and here's another example of why <laughs> there is somebody on there if you search for puzzle generator who's created a like a uh, math powered computer generated oh puzzle and you put in the numbers that you want and it generates the svg for you and you just slap it on your artwork Perfect. and you make a puzzle so um, we'll that show is now, you without yeah, well, using that but yeah, that's yeah. amazing that that exists it's, it's great it's really great and somebody made it for free and gave it back to the community which is wonderful so sounds like something our community uh, would do i know i have Such to mention people. too there is this there's another glowforge owner which oh gosh i am so embarrassed escaping the name is escaping me right now but someone who's had their glowforge for several years and their business oh, is they're a photographer yeah. he's a photographer and beautiful photos and um made a business of making those photos into puzzles with Glowforge. But they're not just plain puzzles like we're going to do today, which are just, you know, the traditional puzzle piece shape. Uh, if, if he was doing this, for example, he has a dog one, so I know. Uh, he makes puzzle piece shapes that are like the shape of a squirrel, the shape of a dog bone, the shape of the dog, the dog um, that he does the puzzle of is called Rio. So mm -hmm. there are shapes that say R-I-O. Um, so we could have Ego here. Anyway, so there. If if you are a designer and want to make your own custom puzzle with like themed shapes, that is something you could do with Glowforge. Um, but not today. <laughs> I, 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 I found I found this person. Um, yeah. But I can't find their website, which is so frustrating. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Mike, if you can search to my screen. So here here is the person. This is a blog article on Glowforge.com. Yeah. Uh, and you can see some of the uh, the the puzzles here. Exactly. Th yeah. There's Rio. There's Rio. Yeah. This one. Uh, oh, and by the way, that dog is wearing a Glowforge made leather collar. Also that. So I, meta. I see the name Wimbley Puzzle Company. Wimbley uh, Puzzle Company. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this person a You're quick on a journey plug. with us. Yeah. <laughs> what if they're here in chat? <laughs> Wembley Puzzle Company Artisanal. Uh, Is that it? I can, well, I'm not sure. Uh, wooden Puzzles must be here. Shop all Wooden Puzzles. Here we go. Yeah. Double Ash. Okay, well, this is the first time I've been to this website, so I'm not entirely might sure be, how to use it. Might be it. it. I, I think this is the, 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 the person. Mm -hmm. um, do they have an Instagram down at the bottom? Made in the USA. Our story, this person. Anyway, Wimbley Puzzle Company. If you yeah. have more time than we do on the live stream, please check it out because that is a wonderful GoForge yeah. customer who does some awesome work. That was a real. That was the first one I saw doing those like themed puzzles. But since then, and especially now that we've put this tool into premium, we've made it super easy. So if you're not a designer or you um, don't even want to miss what the puzzle program, like we mentioned, there's just like a one-click thing you can do. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do today, and I think it should be really fun to watch print. Uh, just, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like cutting then, is always fun. I'm yeah. like, can't wait. But <laughs> and I then we'll to spend mention, 10 minutes at the end watching me and Bailey do a I know. puzzle. <laughs> oh, oh, God, 10 minutes. <laughs> That's generous. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't do puzzles very often. They're not my strength, especially, gosh, this one has so much white on it. Like, who, Actually, who chose that photo? That's, that's the best me. thing about this. If you, yeah. <laughs> 
Th this, this puzzle right here, or this image, will make a really great puzzle. There's lots of features and things, yep. you know, so the pieces will go together. The nice thing about the puzzle generator is you can choose how many pieces you want to make. So this could be ah. a four-piece puzzle, or it could be a 400-piece puzzle. Ah, okay. And you could, if you were really mean, uh, print a 400-piece puzzle on a tiny piece of clear acrylic. Clear acrylic. And then give acrylic. that to one of your worst enemies and ask them to solve it. I feel like uh, that was kind of a thing around the office a couple years ago. I think People it was. were making like, weird was. clear acrylic puzzles, and yeah. I was like, I'm not into this. <laughs> This feels cruel. <laughs> right. I feel targeted. <laughs> I can't do these. I did want to mention something before we start the print, though. We're oh, doing yeah, go ahead. something different today. Um, I know many of you watching already have a Glowforge, which is which is great, and mm -hmm. you're just here to to learn a Glowforge skill and hang out with us. Well, love, she has love to see it. Yes, yes. Um, but if you're still thinking about getting your Glowforge, we want a way to make sure that you are kind of like rewarded for watching our live streams because <laughs> uh, we we love our fans that coming back week after week. Um, so we we talked to our um, Glow, team of Glowforge experts and we worked with them to come up with a discount code that if you are gonna get a Glowforge and you talk to them, they can give you um, up to $500 off a Glowforge Pro, 250 off a Glowforge pl Plus, or 125 off the basic. So I'm not gonna tell you what the code is here today, but if you talk to our team of experts during your purchase, you can just say, hey, I watch live stream with Bailey and Nick, um, and they'll apply that discount. Um, and you wanna mention which one it was today because it is like, you know, time limited uh -huh. <laughs> so it's just for this month mention that um, so this is February and so if you want to get in touch with our sales team not only can they like give you this discount they also could give you a one-to-one -one demo mm -hmm. um, a I'm glad you said phone that. call yeah. mm -hmm. or or video and they'll yeah. they'll show you how to print something similar to what you want to print um, talk to you about the specific materials you want to use and just make sure that you like feel really good about uh, pressing that order button because right. we know it's a big deal. It's, so, yeah, it's a huge deal. People, it really is. And right? they're, they're really good. Our, um, our sales team is like they really know their stuff. They all mm -hmm. have Glowforge units at home that they print with regularly. And so they actually know the product and can help you out with it. So um, I'm really proud of that. And I'm excited to try this. So if you want to get in touch with them, you can either email sales at glowforge.com. Mm -hmm. I think I put a link also in the um, description of this YouTube video. If not, one of our sales team uh, experts <laughs> should be in chat right now, live, helping you out. So they could pop the like schedule a meeting link in, mm -hmm. and then you could actually just schedule a, a, a phone call or um, video meeting with one of those folks to give you a Glowforge demo and answer your questions. So if that's, that's something you're into. We have it now. I'm yeah. really excited. Uh, no, no, no pressure. This is, we, <laughs> we're all about trying to find the right product for the right person. Oh, yeah. You know, if, if Glowforge isn't right for you because your application is, you know, something that we can't deal with, then this team sure. can help you figure that out. Um, Six thousand dollars. However much you're going to spend is a lot of money. Right. We want to make sure that we set you up for success. Yes. So as soon as it arrives, you are off to the races. Exactly. And most people do tell us they're printing within thirty minutes of it of arriving. Yeah. So um, as long as you know what you want to do, something that the Glowforge <laughs> can do, which is a lot of things, you'll be you'll be off to the races. Oh, yeah. Including printing puzzles. <laughs> uh, and this, I mean, thinking about this now, we, we've had a few holidays happen quite recently. Like puzzles are a pretty nice thing to gift to people. Yeah. It's a great way to uh, create an activity for your family. Maybe you have a family portrait, you can turn it into a puzzle. Instead of watching a movie one night, you can do that together with the fam. Someone uh, just asked, uh, oh, yeah. where did I get the photo printed on the acrylic from? Oh. I can't you? remember exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bought it online. I think the two of them were like, around $40 for both mm -hmm. and with shipping and everything. But it, you know, there are a lot of websites that you can get different deals yeah. for pr printing photos on different materials. So it was one of those where like the photo, it was a photo printing site where you could do it on wood and metal and all these mm -hmm. things. And I chose acrylic, so yeah. Yeah. Shop, shop around. I think yeah. a lot of those places, if, if you sign up, you get a code Coupon, immediately. Coupons, right, Groupons like that. always have those oh, yeah, too. Uh -huh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. And even places like Costco, I think might offer this type of service yeah. as well. So definitely worth checking it out. Um, but this is just for more detail, printed on eighth inch thick acrylic. Yep. So it's just the same as our medium acrylic, yep, essentially. Nice and thin. Uh, which is why it works really well. Nice and late. Yeah. Um, but let's jump over to the app. Let me show you what we're, what we're dealing with right now, which is, uh, well, a rather adorable photo of a dog <laughs> that I've had to shoot lasers at. Ego. <laughs> Very sorry, Ego. You'll be okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, we are in the Glowforge app. A lot of you might be familiar with this, some of you might not, but this is all web-based, so it doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC, if you want to use your tablet, if you can get to the internet, you can get to the software. And one of the reasons that's really great is that our team of engineers in the background are always working on improvements, bug fixes, and new features. And so every time you log into the software, if something new has been rolled out, you will right. have immediate access to it. And Glowforge Premium is a great example of that. It's a little toolkit that we've built. I say little, it's not little at all. It's getting huge now, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> it's very powerful. And it has all sorts of different ways that you can add embellishments to your prints. 
Um, one of these tools that we'll talk about today is the Puzzle Maker. And you'll find that down here on the right hand side. And it's really simple to use. All I have to do is click it and type in my rows and my columns. Now, um, how, many, how many pieces do you think we should do in this baby? Oh well, gosh, like it's not very big, maybe like... Nine by nine? Is that too many? So, thir so yeah, that's maybe less, maybe like six by six. Six by six? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. We can, Am we I can really going to be asked to put this together is the question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think people will be uh, expecting no, no. to... Uh... <laughs> Puzzle races. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so impressed by people who are good at puzzles, though. Are people who are good at puzzles? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially now. those three D ones. <laughs> oh yeah, those are those are amazing. That would be a cool Glowforge project. Three D uh, puzzles. Three uh, D, yeah. I forgot a step there, everybody. I oh. apologize. I just need to draw my the outline of my puzzle here. Oh, I see. Um, so I just jumped into the square tool, which again is one of these Glowforge Premium features. Bunch of different shapes here that we can draw. Square being one of them, and I just dragged and dropped a square like this around our artwork. And the actual piece of acrylic is in the uh, machine a little bit, I would say, wonky. It's uh, <laughs> my choice of terminology. So you're going to adjust <laughs> So the... I just adjusted it okay. using that rotation tool just here. And we don't have to be super accurate with this. Something like that should be good. And once I've clicked it, now I can choose my puzzle maker. So back to our input, six by six. We can add a frame if we want to. Let's see what that does, actually, because I think that's a new feature they rolled out. Add a frame? Oh, I see. Oh, it adds like a frame that would be not part of the puzzle. That's it. So that I frame see. would be glued to a backer board to capture all the pieces. Okay. So they didn't slide off. Oh, that's pretty clever, actually. Well, I don't think I want that, though. So I'm going to just turn that off, create the puzzle. That's uh, really neat that you can toggle that on and off, though. I like that. Right? Let's delete that one. Let's keep it. And all so it just this. created all those pieces, and it's kind of rounded on the corners. That's it. So let's grab this and scale it down. So it fits really nice. And you know, you can spend as much time and energy as you want uh, making this as perfect as you like. Now, one tool that I have mentioned before on the live stream that I think is very, very powerful here is set focus. Oh yeah. Now, whenever you're working with a found object or something that didn't come from the proof grade store, I would always suggest you use set focus to figure out exactly how thick it is and to make this positioning step really accurate. So what this is gonna do is, when you press it, oh, it's doing it right now. <laughs> the, the laser head comes over and sends down a red infrared laser, um, which is the same kind in your like DVD player. And that is how it measures the, um, no, diode laser. That's what I meant. Infrared just means you can see it. Diode laser <laughs> measuring. Thanks for you, not correcting me. You're so no, nice. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, and, and, and that's how it measures um, the, the distance between the laser head and the material. So it knows it's not um, you know, a half inch acrylic. It knows it's eighth inch acrylic, even though there's no um, QR code in there telling it. Absolutely. Um, and that's going to adjust this image very, very, very slightly, probably so much so that you might not even notice it. But it guarantees that this is going to print where you put it. So let's grab all these pieces. It looks like I've got an extra square off to the side here that, that I don't need. So I'm just going to drag around those and get rid of it. Let's zoom in again so we can see everything. That <laughs> looks pretty good. So I think we're pretty much ready to go. Um, but there is one thing I do need to do that I just noticed. Now, we're not using Proofgrade here. So Great. Glowforge doesn't know what's in the machine. It has saved medium cherry plywood from the last print that I did, but I'm printing on acrylic right now. So I'm just going to click there, start typing acrylic. I know medium is the right one for mm -hmm. us. Um, the color doesn't really matter here. So I'm just going to choose medium red. And that's going to modify these cut settings on the left ever so slightly um, so that we can print this puzzle just like this. Yep. And again, this and is an example of using proof grade settings as a starting point for yeah. non proof grade objects. We uh, tested this earlier and we know that this will cut through just fine. Um, and I mean, acrylic is usually pretty standard. But mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to test, like we just cut off like a little, like little, I don't know. 10th inch strip or something yeah. from the side. Sliver. Easy. Yeah. Um, another nice thing about set focus, it makes the Glowforge do a bunch of calculations before you send the print. And so when you click print, the button starts flashing almost immediately. Oh, so that's it kind of right. speeds up the print process too. So set focus. It's okay, your friend. So it's definitely my friend. We want to look at this up close. We've got yeah. Ego on acrylic uh -huh. in the Glowforge. Six minutes 42. A six minute print uh -huh. and the button is glowing. Let's give it a go. All right. Let's see what happens. I think we know what happens. Look at that go. good looking dog. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. This won't hurt. Don't worry. You'll be fine. <laughs> we'll have to mail this to Ellen. Oh, yeah. She would love that. She'll be thrilled. She would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, weird question. Can I have some beautiful photos of your dog? 
<laughs> yeah, she shared and she these. obliged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She shared these on uh, our messenger when we got some really awesome snow in Seattle in December, mm -hmm. and she took these great photos, and I was like, oh. You know what I they know. would make? A perfect live stream puzzle. Yeah, I know who would look good on camera. <laughs> Yeah, How it's fun amazing. that is to watch. Sorry, we, you, we're just both staring at this, yeah. and I know that you can't actually see what here, we're looking I think at you right can now. See. So if you look, uh, if we switch to my phone camera right here, Mike, you can see what we've already cut kind of in the back, the first couple of pieces, mm -hmm. right? Oops, there, there's my finger. That's it. And uh, this is going through this material in a, in a single pass. Um, so it's really easy, um, really quick as well, six minutes to cut this one puzzle. And you can put multiple puzzles in there too. Mm -hmm. If you had two or three of these images, you could lay them side by side, print all three puzzles at once. Um, and of course, while the printer's working, as long as you keep an eye on it, you can be over here um, making the presentation for the puzzle, a gift box, something like that. Yeah. Uh, you could be maybe speaking with your customers if yep. this is part of your small business. Uh, Puzzle's excellent seller, by the way. So feels so good to have it like printing, the making in the background. Uh -huh. Allie just asked, "Is the is acrylic unmasked?" This piece is a piece of acrylic is unmasked because I ordered it from a photo printing website yes. with the photo printed on it already. Um, Proof grade acrylic always has masking on it, and actually, I masked that because I thought <laughs> when we have like a you know a roll of masking back there for us to experiment with different materials or found objects or whatever, and so I slapped some on, and I thought we'd try we'd try it, but then we didn't need it masked. It didn't look like it was making any marks to us, and so I, I peeled it off at the beginning. Um, but yeah, this uh, is a, just to give an example. This is a piece of proof grade acrylic, so oh, yeah, it has here we that go. same protective white masking tape on there, which is really uh, which is really helpful because that surface is so pristine and glossy. Mm -hmm. It can scratch if you don't take care of it. Yeah, so we might paper... regret our decision after we see. This is the first time we printed um, a photo puzzle like this. So we'll see, maybe we should have masked it. But yeah, um, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we tend to do the masking. Wood for sure, we always recommend the masking because you get kind of this like smoked effect um, from the laser burning the, probably the finish on the wood, the natural saps within the wood, whatever yeah, it is, yeah. I don't know. But um, but yeah, so proof grade materials, which come from Glowforge, they always come masked and you just cut right through them and then peel it off afterwards. And it's kind of fun too because you can use the masking to do different finishing techniques, yeah. like uh, kind of like you would use painter's tape. It's and so you'd paint around it or take some off, leave some on, that sort of thing. So yeah, you know, a couple was it last two weeks ago that we did the photo engrave stream. Yes. You could technically yeah, huh? have engraved a photo on wood and then yeah. print it into like this one, for example, and then print it into a puzzle. So this whole thing could be Glowforge made. You could skip the. Uh, you could skip the photo printing uh, company if you needed to and just wanted to do, so you print this. Oh, and look, this is a good example of that um, that uh, border feature, I bet, Nick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could show you if you like while that's printing. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, if you flick over to my screen mic, I'll just show everybody what that looks like. I'm hoping the design's still in here. Yeah, here it is. So here's, here's our uh, photograph that we were engraving. So we have our engrave ready to go. We can hit the puzzle maker feature, choose eight by eight, whatever that might be. We can add a frame. We can create the puzzle, and that is it right there. I'm so could you do it all in one print? Could yeah. you do it in one print? Yeah, you, you, yeah. <laughs> Engrave and then cut it? That's it. Wow. I'm trying to make it so you can see it easily. It's a bit tricky when a it's off the bed like this. But you, you can see how quick that was. And on the left-hand side, we just have two print steps. We've got the cutting for the puzzle pieces themselves and then the engraving for the photo. I would recommend do the engraving first, so just drag that one to the top. But absolutely, you could send that to print, and then you would have a puzzle. That's now awesome. I've just, I've just realized something. What? Uh, what do we do? Oh no! No 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 no! We're, <laughs> we're good about the puzzle feature. Again, this is one of the cool things. People roll out new features all the time. Is there something and then new? new towards. Well, this design here. Remember, I said, oh, I've got some extra bits and I don't need them. Yeah yeah. Well, it's auto generated the backer for the puzzle. Oh. So it will cut out another rectangle that sits behind all the pieces, oh. so they're captured in like a little board, so that you know you could do them in the car or something like that, and you. The pieces don't go everywhere. So if you were like us and you got this printed from a photo service, you would need another piece of acrylic to be your backer. Yeah. That was the same right. size. Exactly. Um, yeah. Folks are asking a bunch of questions. Uh, and this is the start of the session. Do you, did you have the photo printed beforehand? Yes. yes. And Nick was just showing if we wanted to, rather than a color acrylic photo um, that Glowforge did not print, uh, this is a Glowforge engraved photo on wood. So you could have used something like that. And I. Um, just use like an online photo printing service. There are a hun hundreds of them. I don't um, know if anybody out there knows Unnecessary Inventions, Matt. Oh. Uh, he, he did a project <laughs> a little while ago that was a Kickstarter and he made a coffee table that was a giant jigsaw puzzle. Right. Uh, as, yeah. a as a pass-through print, right? Yeah. And this puzzle making would absolutely use to create something just like that. 
Um, and yes, uh, Eve, if you wanted more pieces, would you select nine by nine instead of six by six? Exactly. Yeah, you could actually do this like a thousand pieces or something yeah, really should we, cruel. Should we, should, we, should we see? Let's, <laughs> let's take a look. I'm just going to undo this. So again, in the software, just click undo if you want to go back. Let's click our prints. Do this. Let's choose. Let's do 100 by 100 and see what it does. It might say no. <laughs> let's just find out. Oh my gosh. All right, it's thinking. Let's this see. Is... We might have broken the internet. Uh, oh, did we'll, we? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> did you ask it to do a thousand? I asked it to do a hundred by a hundred, and that's a lot of pieces it has to generate. So let's see if it actually works or not. <laughs> this is a great test. I love these questions. We'll find out together. <laughs> this is this is almost done. That was really fast. Yeah. Cutting is really fast. Engraving takes a lot longer um, than cutting. It, that's important to keep in mind when you're when you're planning projects like this. So yeah. that could be a reason, like if you were gonna sell these, it could actually be more cost of, or time efficient for you to find a source to print them rather than engrave. Unless you wanted to do wood puzzles. I mean, that's a whole nother level of bespoke. Yes. A wooden engraved puzzle, uh -huh. like wow. Yeah. So you can also um, watercolor on top of engraved photos. That's true. Yeah, yeah that works really, be really beautiful. Well. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like we've got, what, 18 seconds left on this print? So we can show you these pieces and it looks uh, it looks great. My goodness. Alan's gonna be impressed. Yes. All right, I'm excited. I'm coming around the front. I'll pull some pieces it out. It looks good. I don't think we needed the masking. I think that that No, I think we can show it out uh, people a few pieces up close here. And uh, All right, here it is. Let's see. Let me pull out maybe what I should have done is put it on a board. But yeah, if I throw a few of those over there so you well, can show people the tongue. The yeah, the front and the back. Pull out the rest of these. Here we go. I was told I wasn't going to have to do this, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe as we answer a few questions, we might do a bit of puzzle as well. Now, I am interested in one thing, because I can see on the back of these that there is just a little bit oh, of, there um, is. see a little bit of schmutz. Now, I'm wondering if maybe we can wipe that schmutz. off with mm. an alcohol wipe. Oh, maybe. Uh, now, I did Let's have one, it. but I think I've not got one now. Uh, Michael, hmm. in, in, the, in the tote that's on the table just behind there, there's some alcohol wipes. Let's we keep alcohol wipes handy around here because it's what we use to clean the laser head in the Glowforge. That's our number one uh, cleaning tip, by the way, mm -hmm. um, after long printing sessions or just as regularly as you can remember to do it. It's, uh, it, it will behoove you to wipe off the lens on your... Um, on your laser head, and that keeps it the most, uh, you know, clear and clean. It'll keep your engraves the sharpest and your cuts the best, and all that. Is that Absolutely. working? Not it's, really. Well, it's coming off a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. I would. So uh, we could have masked the back, and that would have present, prevented yeah. it. Okay. Yes, yeah, it absolutely would. But so I'm glad we did this because now we can share that with everybody out there. It looks like if you mask the back of your puzzle, it's gonna uh, give you the best result. Okay, I did it. I did one. You did one. <laughs> I saw these. I knew they fit together. I mean, you've I'm done the tongue as well. A puzzle genius. It looks like no, can... those ones just never came apart. Oh, I left them like that. I was like, there, I, 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 there we go. There's another one, right? These, now mm -hmm. I really want to do this. This is neat. Should we? Should I'm we check for questions? On my own. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> are, now that I want to stop you from doing the puzzle, we can definitely um, do the puzzle. Are they durable? If put to the test. Um, yeah, I mean, more durable than a than a cardboard. Um, oh. Yeah, we're we're like trying to break puzzle pieces now. I I, I bet I could break one of the tips off. <laughs> But you know, wow. I, I really well, there had to, goes the puzzle. You know, I had to work quite hard to do that. So I would say they're pretty strong. And you, you may have seen my 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 son in a few Glowforge videos in the past. And I, I make puzzles for him a lot. Typically, they're not quite like this, but I use acrylic all the time, uh, and it's held up. Um, we have we have gifted those puzzles to other kids, and they have gifted them to other kids. So they've survived three generations of children by now. Wow. Uh, and still going strong. So yeah, I would say acrylic is a pretty good medium. I think acrylic is pretty interchangeable for, for glass in a lot of projects. Um, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great one. Look at this. Now we're just distracted by yeah, this Yeah, yeah, it's true. OK, all right, more questions. Let's see. Jack says, <laughs> I'm confused. Um, so Jack, let us know what you're confused about. Are they black? Or what black, Jack? Um, <laughs> sorry, Jack. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> let, let us know what you mean. Um, are they durable if put to the test? Well, you just saw. If you really yep. put them to the test, you could snap uh -huh. off those little ends. But a lot more durable than, I mean, most, most store-bought uh, puzzles are cardboard, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those get all, like, yeah, like they, soft over time. They, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't chew them. Uh, <laughs> Can you show us where the lens is that we should clean? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's move these pieces off. One second. <laughs> one moment. I'm gonna catch them. Catch them on this other beautiful photo of a dog. Okay. All right. So, 
Now, if you're, if you're cleaning your Glowforge, uh, you do need to turn it off. So let's do that first of all. And we'll run around the front. And this piece here. Here, I can show this. Bit. Yeah, this is, the, uh, this is the laser head. So this bit is held on by magnets. We can just take it off like this. Hold it carefully, because I'll show you in a second there's a window on the side. And we're just going to remove this ribbon cable. And if I pop that there with Bailey, you can see exactly what we're dealing with. Hello. And we've got a little, uh, a little mirror right here. Sorry, mm -hmm. not a mirror, a, uh, a window. And that can get a little dirt on there, so you want to give that a wipe. And then the lens itself is actually underneath here. You can see ours could use a wipe. Yeah. <laughs> we'll and do that. Uh, your Glowforge comes with a little blue tool that's magnetic, and you pop it in there, and it pulls the lens out. Mm -hmm. uh, give it a wipe, and then stick it back in, and, and that's it. And then that window that you see right here, there's actually one more just in the side of the Glowforge right here uh, that might also need a wipe. But that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's the extent of it. Uh, we do actually have a Glowforge Essential series on YouTube, right. uh, which has a cleaning video. It's about two minutes long, something like that. Um, so if you're interested and you want to see that in a little bit more detail, check that out. Yes. Yeah, that's, I mean, wiping down your Glowforge with, like before we started, I was just wiping it down with. You should have seen how filthy it was. Some hand wipes, <laughs> nothing too fancy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I we, mean, it could look better right now. This isn't ready for a photo shoot or no, anything. No, no, no. But, um, but it just goes straight. We, we use these all the time, oh, yeah. day in and day out. We are not the best at taking care of them, <laughs> and they keep on kicking. Right. You know. Some people, I have seen people do full Glowforge cleaning videos on YouTube. You mm -hmm. can feel free to do that. I mean, um, what, I, what I do find satisfying is the way that people uh, clean their chrome trays. Yes. When you, when you, it's because, okay, Soak if you don't in. take this out for a long time and then you like dump it upside down, it'll be full of little tiny bits. So mm -hmm. that, first of all, amazing. But then, yeah, soaking it in whatever they soak it in. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, but, I'm not really sure either. But we've never done that. We just use the glow for just for years. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. You, it's not something you need to <laughs> so, do at right. all. If mm -hmm. you want to, absolutely fine. Just be careful. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. I, did Jack get back to us? Jack didn't. No, he didn't. He just left us with, with his confusion. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. If, if you're still there and you can remember uh, what it was, let us know. Um, um, I did want to go over a couple of the tools in uh, Premium as well to show oh, people. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, if, if you have a moment. Um, if I share my screen again, Mike. Now, uh, we did mention Premium here. Uh, it is a group of tools built into the Glowforge app. Whether you're a premium user or you're not, it's basically going to look the same. But I'll just give you an overview of other things that's included. This looks like we're in the interior of like a Disneyland ride or something right now. Like, I don't know yeah, what this I, is. Yeah. <laughs> I just really feel like this screen when we show this is really confusing because uh, it's just so this is what, what you're seeing right now is like a zoomed in version of the Glowforge bed. Um, oh, with, with yes. no material on Sorry, it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And you, if I zoom out, you can kind of see the square here. <laughs> that is the, the honeycomb, the crumb tray that's, that's in the bottom. That's a design. That's why and it that's looks like a negative. Our <laughs> digital design. Yeah. Our creepy photo of this beautiful family. Yes. The Dateline version, <laughs> as I said. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. But uh, just to give a few examples, um, if we wanted to build a design, and in fact, let me go back here first of all. Let me go to, uh, a, a, let's see, let's do a box that I made a long time ago. Um, right here, and we can use this as our basis for our design. Um, if we hit the plus, we can search through thousands and thousands of icons. Um, let's say we're looking for something to do with dogs. We can find plenty of icons for dogs, and they just load right into the app like this. And we can copy and paste these. We can rotate them. We can scale them. We can combine different things. Maybe we also like trees. Uh, we can search for trees, click this, and we can start building up our design from pieces. And these are all part of the Glowforge Premium offering. So uh, you could absolutely go to Google and search for a dog icon and tree icon, things like that, and then just drag and drop them into uh, the workspace like this. Um, or you can do it the quick way and hit that plus button, which is pretty cool. We've also got some basic shape tools in here as well for lines and squares, things like that. Like on one of these boxes, if you wanted to add a little finger notch, you could use the circle tool here, and we can just click and drag that. Move that over here, exactly where you wanted it to go. Or, and this is where it starts getting pretty cool. Let's say you wanted to uh, create, oh, well, I just removed the head of that dog. That's not what I meant to do at all. <laughs> <laughs> let's grab this together along with this circle. And let's make a quick dog keychain really fast. Maybe this is uh, something that we use for 
Well, something, I'm not sure. Uh, that's not important right now. What is important is I can choose an icon, I can add a shape, and if I drag around those, another premium tool, <laughs> like which is I like how the dog's cool. body just separated from its yeah. head. <laughs> wow, that was a little disarming. Did not mean that to happen, but it did, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But we have this really cool outline tool here, which allows us to combine different shapes together to create a solid shape. So I'm gonna click that, create outline. That looks a bit big to me. So I'm gonna adjust that here by changing that slider. Oh, a bit too small. Make that a little bit bigger. Make that a little bit bigger. Let's see. And maybe, oh, that's why, because I, I went to zero. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it is. But here, I mean, very rudimentary, we essentially have a finished design for a print. This could be a tag for the dog. Um, you know, we could, we could make this smaller. We could head up to the text tool. Here's another one. Uh, what, should we, what should we call this dog? My uh, child wants a uh, dog at the moment, and he's chosen that it, his name is going to be Sandwich. So, is name what? Sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich is going to be his name. So let's choose Don't Sandwich. Don't we have more cat named Sandwiches? Beans and Sandwiches. I think are Matt's oh, cats. Oh, is that Matt's cats? Yeah. Could, that could be. Knox is onto something be. there. I love it. So I'm gonna change my mind here. I'm gonna add in sandwich. I don't want to outline anymore. So I'm just gonna delete it. Once again, we'll drag around. Now I'm actually looking up here. I don't know if many people use this or not, but these rulers are showing us exactly how big this design is. I love that. And yeah. if you move it along, I can see this is only about an inch big. Cause it can so. be hard to, um, especially if you zoom in and stuff, you can kind of lose track yeah, of yeah. scale Absolutely. very easily. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, same with this circle. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. But once again, we'll drag around, use the premium tool, outline shape create a new outline like this, and then we'll have an outline around the dog's picture, the name, and this. And this could, at this point, be a tag for a collar. You could imagine having this, you could flip it over and engrave your phone number on the back if you wanted to, like so many different things you can do. And that's all tools that are built into Glowforge Premium. And now, Nick, can you also, um, if, so okay. Yeah, of course. Just, just riffing here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if we were gonna print this on clear acrylic, we like to do the tip of, um, printing it backwards uh, so that, or printing it on the back, sorry. Um, but is there a way to flip, flip oh, yeah. the design? Yes, yes there is. Again, uh, a Glowforge Premium tool. Yeah. Uh, so if we uh, hover over this. Some of the, the stuff right that can seem really here. hard if you don't have this, and yeah, then it's really yeah. easy. And it's absolutely yeah. possible. If yeah. you search on Google, flip my image, <gasps> you'll find something, you can, you can do it. Yeah. But it's way easier just to select it in here, click the flip horizontal button like that, and you can see how that flips just like this. And like Bailey said, that means you can engrave it on the back side of a piece of acrylic. Then when you flip it over and you're looking through the front, it's perfectly smooth and your design is the right way around. Exactly. And it's a super cool effect. Yeah, it is. I don't know. It just looks a little bit more dimensional or fancy yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like it's that. It's very professional. Um, let's see. we got a couple more questions. Of course. Jose and Co. Custom Jewelers. Okay, he says there's a piece of equipment on the top shelf to your left. I think he's talking about the drone. <laughs> he's asking if it's an attachment. This, If this is what you're talking about right here, um, this is a Glowforge made drone. It used to actually fly uh, back in 2015. Mm -hmm. It was one of the big projects that we made for our crowdfund video when we first launched our company back in 2015. So if you watch our original crowdfund video from 2015, you'll see that there's like a birthday party scene and it's yeah. flying around and stuff. But this was totally printed on a Glowforge, assembled by hand. Not by me. That was somebody's like full time job. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a pretty big undertaking. <laughs> yeah, that was because yeah. uh -huh. it was designed and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but that's pretty amazing. But it's uh, can you use Canva with a Glowforge? Yes, I use Canva all the time. Um, yeah, so if you, um, so for designing for Glowforge, there's lots of options. Yeah. We have mm -hmm. a catalog with pre made designs that um, if you have a premium subscription, a whole bunch of them come for free with yeah. that. Uh -huh. um, or you can buy them uh, one off or you can shop places like Etsy where designers and file makers are selling lots of different uh, products that you can print. Mm -hmm. um, or you could design your own. Uh, you, if, you're, if you're a designer that's comfortable with professional programs like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, those are great. Um, or you can use things that are a little bit more simple and rudimentary like Canva and uh, Google Slides and things like that. The, the, the idea is that you wanna be able to export as a PDF mm -hmm. um, in order to have the different elements that you might, because the Glowforge, you know, can engrave, it can cut, and it can score. And so you, if you want to take full advantage of all those things, not just drag in, you know, a bitmap image to engrave, but you want to have a bitmap, or sorry, engrave an image and then cut out a circle around it, you just want to make sure that you're saving out the file in the correct way that you can do that. So we've got uh, several live streams on the topic. I'm sure we'll do another one yeah. soon. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, uh, Canva's a great example. If you're a vinyl cutter owner, um, you know, oh, yeah. Cricut or Silhouette, that software too can export SVGs. So you can take that <laughs> design and use it right away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we hear that all the time because well, they're like, really oh, awesome. we've been 
I've been learning this design program backwards and forwards for two years, and so then they yeah. don't have to learn a new yeah. one. Yeah, so. so many, so many different options. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if there's any last questions. Did Jack come back? Jack didn't come. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jack. Jack did come back. Oh, he did. He said, "Can you say hello to our shop teacher at Abbot Abbotsford?" That sounds like it might be in the UK. Um, <laughs> it, it could be. I'm not really sure. Maybe yeah, the New England. I don't know. If it's not, it sounds very quaint. I'm imagining it. Uh, yes, hello. We we get launched into the UK. If you are from the UK, uh, <laughs> late last year, and so we've got a lot more folks tuning in from like Scotland and England and stuff, which is kind of fun. Yeah. So um, I didn't. Uh, oh yeah, people are saying I use Inkscape. Yeah, Inkscape is a free online version of of Illustrator, but it's yeah. not not a duplicate by any means. It takes a bit more um, a yeah, bit more doing to understand. It can be a little tricky, but again, once again, plug in the community. Yeah. If you go to community.glowforge.com, people there have created online lessons essentially for all manner of different software: Inkscape, Xfinity. Uh, no, Infinity Designer, I think it's called. Mm. Uh, Illustrator, Fusion 360, all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Xfinity, um, like the, the Wi-Fi uh, Yeah, the Wi-Fi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do need Wi-Fi. <laughs> you don't need yes. to know anything more than that. Uh, yeah, so, so many, so many options. Would it score a piece of chipboard to make it bend? Someone's mm -hmm. asking. Yeah, uh, is, wait, what are you pointing at? The this? cardboard That's models? what this is? Yeah. Oh, that's what chipboard is. I thought the chipboard was like pr oh. uh, proof, or like, what's that called? Uh, like prototype board, what do we call that? Uh, draft board? Draft board. Oh, is oh. that what chipboard is? I think in this case, chipboard is like uh, it's like a cardstock made from little oh, okay. fibers. Um, it's the stuff we used to use for doing test prints on. Oh, yeah. You know, the brown mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But absolutely. Um, we have paper settings in the app that include cutting, scoring, and engraving. Um, there's multiple different ways that you can do this. Um, you can score, just like you said. Or in these examples, we actually cut using a perforated line. So just little dashes, mm -hmm. and that allowed it to score just fine as well. Um, but chipboard, fantastic material in the machine. I, I used to use it all the time to prototype everything I was doing. With, with these things, we're talking about size and scale and not really understanding what a real thing is like once it's printed. Yep. Print it on chipboard really quick. You can hold it in your hand, see if you like it. If you don't, it's just a piece of chipboard, you know? <laughs> Cheap. It's great, yeah. Yeah, we have um, a prototyping material that is the same thickness as our um, mm -hmm. plywoods and acrylics. It's called uh, draft board. So it's kind of like a much thicker chipboard. Um, and so that's a good way to go if you're trying to make sure you're working on, or you're trying to make sure things like joints fit together nicely, yeah. um, that you need that 3D, because the chipboard is much thinner. Of mm -hmm. course, you can like make a box with it, for example. Uh, I thought scoring was just a light engrave, Ali says. It's it's a little different. It is yeah. a little bit different, yeah. Should, should we show, <laughs> what do we have? I guess this is a good example yeah. of a score, right? So with the main difference that you can tell that it's a different function, the, the way that the laser thinks of it as a different function is because with um, with engraving, the laser works like a dot matrix printer where it goes back and forth a whole bunch of times and does it creates the image of a whole bunch of tiny dots. Whereas with a score, it's more like a cut where it never leaves the surface mm -hmm. uh, and just does one I want to Continuous say Continuous right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what yeah. Doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Imagine it like a cut that doesn't go all the way through. But it ends up being a really efficient way to print something. Like this tag, for example. So these you are all scores. You could engrave it. Those are all scores. Mm -hmm. But if we engrave this, the laser head would have to start at the bottom and go like this all the way up the material. And if you think about the engrave settings, it's going anywhere between sort of 195 to 340 times um, per, per inch. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a lot of passes. That print's going to take a little while. A score, it's just going to go zip, 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 zip. It's not quite the noise it makes, but similar. <laughs> uh, and it will produce a very similar effect. Yep. So it's great for designs like this. It's great if you want to cut through the masking paper and create stencils for applying paint effects, things like that. Great if you want paper to, uh, to fold. Um, so yeah, you are not wrong in thinking that it's a light engrave. It's just a slightly different uh, function, if you like, with the printer. All right. Well, um, again, if you were here at the beginning, we were doing something a little different this week. Um, we know some people watching don't have a Glowforge yet, and they're still thinking about getting one. So if that's the case, we wanted to make sure that you were like rewarded for tuning in. <laughs> and um, so we asked our, we have a team of Glowforge experts that actually are available, not a lot of people know this, but they're available to get on one-on-one -on -one phone calls mm -hmm. or video calls with you to demo Glowforge, talk about what you want to make, mm -hmm. exactly what materials you want to print, that sort of thing, and make yeah. sure that it's a good choice for you if you're thinking about getting one. So I've given them an exclusive discount for uh, this stream. 
So um, you can get up to $500 off the Glowforge Pro, $250 off the Glowforge Plus, or $100 off, $125 off the basic um, by um, just mentioning that you watched this stream. So make sure that you're mentioning that it's the mm -hmm. photo puzzle stream. Um, and uh, that's just through February. We're just trying this out to see um, you know, see, see what you guys think. And so yeah. it's, it's a really cool experience to chat with them and you could just do it via chat, you could do it via email, you could get on the phone, you could do a video call, whatever you want to do. I'm whatever personally I'm personally not a phone call person, so I would probably <laughs> be talking with them via chat. But uh -huh. um, so you can contact them, uh, sales at glowforge.com or we popped a link in chat before, maybe we can pop it in again. You could schedule um, a call that way. And again, they have access to up to $500 off uh, mm -hmm. the Pro, which is our most popular machine and it's the one that we're yeah, using today. That's so. True. Uh, Did you just put together a whole bunch of the puzzles? Well, I, I was, I was trying. I was, I was saying, if, if Bailey could do her spiel and I can finish the puzzle, that'd be a really nice way to round this out. But uh, I managed to get one eye and a tongue. That would have um, made me feel really bit. inadequate because this would be a, a <laughs> multiple minute endeavor for okay. me. Well, well I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad, <laughs> Bailey. But anyway, puzzle making super fun, super easy to do with premium tools. You have access to that puzzle generator. Um, otherwise, you can go to community.glowforge.com and one of our kind uh, community members made a puzzle generator right there. Um, Everybody asked some great questions yeah. today as well. I, I hope we helped. And if there is something that you didn't get a chance to ask and you're still wondering, hit up the sales team, like Bailey said. Yes. Even if it's just for a quick question. I mean, heck, they're fun people just to talk to. So they, even if you just fun. want to chat, uh, just, just Okay, one know. last, sorry. We were totally just going to sign off, but I just saw Lana last questions. James is hoping that we can show him this like wave image, uh, oh, wave yeah. photo. Not photo, it's not a photo. It's a... It's a piece of art, Bailey. <laughs> well, yes. Wall, Don't laugh, it actually is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's made by um, one of our customers. What is fact. the word I'm looking for, though? Uh, it's an inlay. That's oh, what I okay, want. Yes. So this is a piece of wood. Well, it's a couple pieces of wood. And then inlaid, well, let's show them up close. Inlaid yeah. with a bunch of different painted pieces. So I imagine they did walnut and then maybe a lighter, like a maple or something mm -hmm. like that for the paint. Um, and it doesn't look like watercolor. I think it's probably an acrylic paint because uh, it looks quite so. thick. Yeah. But yeah, it, looks it could be house paint right? or something like this. But yeah, and by using those pieces as individuals and then dropping them in, exactly. you could be a messy painter Actually, and it's still going to look awesome. Not unlike a puzzle, is it? <laughs> no, what? Well, that is true. <laughs> it's really well into the street. Uh, who, who's, who's this on the back, Bailey? Oh. Um, I think it has their, their details. So this is the name of the customer. Maybe Lee Chartreux. Something like that, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, so if, if you look that interested. up, there's probably an Etsy shop. Yeah. We love it when uh, customers use Glowforge to brand their products. Because uh -huh. we can show Chef's them kiss. off to you. Yes. So if, if we have anything from you uh, that we show on the live stream, make sure we know that it's from you so we can tell everybody else out there. Love it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for all the questions. Y'all were fun everybody. as usual. And yeah. we'll see you next week. Next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.